Hello you guys, it's Arcadia, and today I am bringing you a little commentary, something that is new to my channel, and I apologize right now for being absent for literally two weeks and taking my time to post literally anything on my channel. I've been working on the new EP, which came out literally two days ago. By the time I post this, it'll probably be almost a week that it came out and i'm super excited to share it with you guys um link is available on my soundcloud um i am gonna have it posted on here as well now let's cut to the chase to as to what i'm gonna be talking about today and that is everyone we are now in the new eurovision new year like it's already 2021 season and I can't wait. I am so excited. Um, I've been listening to SD Lal songs. I've been listening to, um, let's see, um, Israel. I haven't really heard the songs yet, but today I kind of want to focus more on, um, on Albania, on Fasiwali Kingis 59. And I just want to say that Angela Betty Steady is amazing. Like, she wasn't really my winner to begin with, but she really grew on me. Her song really grew on me. Vasha So was my winner, and so was Spang. Um, those were my two favorites to win. And but when okay, so let me explain something. Before the live performances, those were my two favorite songs, uh, Vasha So and Bang. Now, uh, this year they decided to um do three shows a uh the first night which was the live show and all the performances and then the second night was the acoustic versions of all the songs and on the third night it was just the finalists who had made it um when i saw on the first night uh ziar ziarim by era rusi and um karma by angela perisetti i was like they snapped they i th honestly thought the performances were amazing especially um era's um song and performance was phenomenal i i was really excited by it and so was karma i thought the staging was good a lot of people will disagree that the staging maybe wasn't the best and that you know that there needs to be like a change in costume choreography or anything i honestly thought that the performance was great the life was great i thought angela did a fantastic job the vocals were amazing too and but i do agree with other you know people who say that of course the song is going to need to be uh revamped um, I was really excited for Vasha So to make it into the final as well as Bang because last year, um, Devi's Chara, who um, I probably said that really wrong, but um, he did not qualify for the final last year and Festival of Kang is 58, which I was kind of sad about, but um, this year he qualified, really happy about that. Um, a lot of my favorites made it too but honestly angela was the one who really really i thought she was gonna win and i've heard other people say like oh yeah she has it in the bag she's definitely gonna win and i really really thought the song was amazing and it's i feel like it's gonna do good in eurovision now the question was after angela's victory in festival of king is 59 was whether the song was going to be kept in Albanian or if it was going to be revamped into English. I am a fan of Festival of I Albania is one of those countries that I'm always excited to see what they send to Eurovision every year. And when, you know, I was really excited to see what they were going to do with her song. Um, an article came out um, saying that she didn't really know uh it was an article but uh she was interviewed right after the show they asked her angela are you gonna keep the song in english or in albanian and she said she didn't know because she was focused in festival of Kingis rather than eurovision but she's gonna start thinking about it because she's going to eurovision so she didn't think about that until the moment came i believe so and so now 
there's been rumors saying that she will keep it, but it's not confirmed. Others have said that it is confirmed that she will keep it in Albanian instead of going into English. And from and I think that Albania is wonderful if they keep it like they do a great job if their song is kept in their language because I think the Albanian language is amazing. And uh Theju Tokis last year with uh Yonida Malici was a great song and I really think that that song was amazing kept in English and then in 2018 I think that was good there were other songs that were sent to Eurovision from Albania that I thought were phenomenal kept in their language the reason I think a lot of people were hoping to hear the news that she was going to keep it in Albanian was because last year Arilena Ara uh, with Shy, I thought, here's my take on, on that though. When Shy won, I thought the song was amazing being in Albanian. The, obviously, the revamp, it needed a bit of a revamp, but it was good and she should have kept it in Albanian. But when she said she's gonna revamp it into English, I saw a lot of mixed reactions to the English version. A lot of people liked it. I thought that the English wasn't too bad, but I honestly enjoyed it in Albanian. And I think a lot of Euro fans believe that it should, you know, that Albania should just keep their songs in Albanian. I, I really do think that and I do agree with that. But honestly, I'm really excited that we're getting ready for 2021 for Rotterdam 2021 and I can't wait to see what you know what's gonna happen from here until May with Albania and the other countries I'm really really excited to see what Albania is going to look like in the Eurovision stage and you know just kind of keep up with all the Eurovision updates hopefully 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 putting it out in the universe manifesting it that we get to have a Eurovision next year I really hope so because I feel like we just need it honestly we need it <laughs> and I really do think that um, Angela's song is outstanding it's phenomenal and um and you know if it's gonna be kept in albanian i think she's gonna do even better if the song is kept in albanian like she's gonna do wonderful so i wish angelo the best of luck and i just really can't wait to see her shine in the eurovision stage now um i will be putting out videos on other national finals because this year i'm actually trying to be more involved with the national finals because I am not a person who's really involved. There's been, you know, years here and there that I've enjoy, enjoyed the um, national finals. Um, the only one that I really enjoy is Festival de Kingis, but I tried to watch it last year. Um, honestly, it was hard for me to watch last year's because of the whole Maroof uh, incident in 2019. But this year, I'm gonna try to watch Estilo because I said I was gonna watch it last year. Never did, so I kind of feel bad for that. <laughs> and then um, this year, I've been keeping up with uh, France um, Destination Eurovision, um, which I already have a winner, and I'll end up talking about that in another video. But just stay tuned for the next videos because I'm gonna try to be focusing more on national finals. Anyway, you guys, this was just kind of like a commentary rant type of video, something new for my channel. Channel. but um honestly this these are just my opinions don't take anything literal that i said but i will link sources and articles down that i've read so far about angela pretty steady song about karma um and about other things that i've you know that i've seen around but don't take my word for this just commentary opinions anyway you guys stay safe have a happy new year and i'll see you in the next video